granddaughter. What a fun project. Yeah. All right, Circuit Python time. It's Python on hardware time, Lady Ada. There's a lot going on. Oh, boy. We were just talking about this. There is a ginormous amount of projects with CircuitPython and MicroPython. So we try to cover it all. Um, one thing, uh, we, we also put in uh, Linuxy stuff because Python runs on that. We also have Blinka. Blinka and MicroPython yeah. and, and generic Python stuff and Python language stuff and sometimes other scripting languages too. Pretty much anything that I think the CircuitPython team yeah. would like, I put in there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I sent to Anne. She so puts in. we have the Raspberry Pi OS 64 bit. It's out of beta. Do check that out. We hit our 33,000 members on Discord. That's where we do a lot of development of CircuitPython live. Uh, and we have our weekly meetings every single week, Mondays at 2 p.m. Eastern, where you can tune into exactly what's getting built and made, and you can participate in it with CircuitPython. Um, we have a pull request to add split screen capabilities. Check that out if you wanted to have that on your Pi portal. Um, you can uh, play around with that now, or we'll see, it might be added. We have our 2022 wrap up. We get community feedback every single year. Scott put this together, and we have a bunch. As I mentioned before, Scott has a deep dive this week. The CircuitPython show is starting soon. Um, we did add this to the newsletter because we think this is good news. Um, basically, Intel is like, hey, we're going to do RISC V stuff. So um, It's interesting. Yeah. It's interesting. It, generally speaking, um, everyone agrees that we kind of make chips like probably locally here in the U.S. So um, maybe this is the first step for RISC V. Um, we won't get tired of the hacker joke about like risk is cool. I mean, um, there's a lot of times now we're seeing, you know, um, cores that they'll have a coprocessor that's risk five for low power or low yeah. cost or, you know, sensor management. So like having an Intel core that is um, doing a lot, but then has risk five, like, you know, one of the things we were talking about, sorry, I was thinking about the, um, the Google phone that has, um, uh, like the wake up, like the voice wake up. Yeah, the up. wake word, yeah. And it's... Um, they have a little chip that does They have a little chip that. that just does wake word stuff. So it's like I'm thinking like if Intel's going to get into AI stuff, you might have like the beginning of the sensor stuff or the AI stuff being handled by the risk five, And then if it thinks that there's some data that needs more processing, it can wake up the main core. So uh, it actually makes a lot of sense to me um, to have like your BIOS not necessarily be part of the, the main processor. Yeah. So we'll say, you know, as always, we're interested in like having full USB support so we can do sort of Python stuff. Yeah. Um, we've done coprocessor stuff where we have um, like a SAMD and then we have an ESP32. So it'd be nice to kind of have something for makers and for people building stuff. Um, they could learn a lot from uh, Raspberry Pi Foundation who did the RP2040. That's right, it's so. their own core. Anywho, I mean, it's um, so we put that in there. Uh, this is Project of the Week. We talked about this on the show and tell. So you get can a live check demo. that out in the live demo of Wordle on a Clue. And you can get clues on the Clue for your Wordle on the Clue. Mm. Uh, upgrade your CircuitPython version on the Raspberry Pi Pico without access to the boot cell button. And th uh, this was kind of a neat Daft Punk project. Um, this is the word clock that plays the words of the time um, over on NYC Resistor and a whole bunch of stuff. The newsletter is gigantic. Please sign up, Adafruit Daily. Um, I have one video that I want to show. This is uh, the PyLeap video, and then I'm going to show one last thing. So PyLeap is our new app. You can check it out in the App Store. Uh, this is a video that Trevor made, and then I have one thing, and then we'll move on to the next segment. Hey, this is Trevor, and I'm here to show you our new PyLeap update. We are currently in the process of adding the uh, Adafruit Clue NRF52A40 to our PyLeap app. Um, so right here, I have two products ready to go. I have a NeoPixel rainbow animation and I have a Blink animation. So let's try them out really quickly. So right here, we have our project card and we'll send over our project bundle. All right, and just like that, we have uh, rainbows and let's try out the blink animation there you have it it's blinking purple and pink All right and also we made it so that you can check out the learn guide for that specific demo within the app all right well we'll have more updates coming soon thank you see you soon Okay, and then if you go to circuitpython.org slash downloads, you will see 
we have 277 boards. There's so many boards so that many. have been added that I didn't get a chance to show this cool graphic that we made because we're like, hey, we just passed 256, so... That's cool, because it's like, you know, more than OX5, OXFF. The problem is that we, like, blew past it. Yeah. Yeah. So that's good news. Um, and then last up, we have a um, special section on Adafruit that's uh, kind of in this... It's not, not well-known yet, but it will be soon, we think. Um, and uh, you can go to it and see some socks. So these are nice freaking techie socks. <laughs> and... Uh, it's, we're poking fun at NFTs a little bit because... Uh, but we also like socks. So, yeah. So, we added these. So, these are DigiKey socks. These are floppy socks. These are uh, Red Hat from the podcast Command Line Heroes. Uh, Hackster socks. Python socks with uh, VS Code. Um, Gamer socks. With a little bit of cursing. Sorry. Uh, Red Hat socks. And then uh, Bite Me floppy Another socks. Another set of floppy socks. Yeah. And I'll, and I'll show some of these socks later on in, in the show. But, um, you know, if we're going to get accused of doing NFTs, we don't. Um, we're at least going to have a gallery of uh, fun things with socks. Nice so, floppy socks. Yeah, we're going to do that. And uh, if you want, you can get the newsletter. Just go to adafruitdaily.com. Sign up. We don't spam you or do anything like that. And that is Python on Hardware News this week. Thank you, Blinka.